All right, we've got uh, lots 19 and 20. Lot 19 would be 10-6. Yorkshire Guild, uh, she would be a big step leaps. Uh, yeah, very, very high quality guilt here. And this comes out of a, a very high dollar uh, uh, guilt that we obtained from Ricker there about three years ago that we showed uh, very successful in the summer of 18. Uh, she was second in her class there at Louisville and uh, went on to, she's kind of been off sequence. She's kind of been a, a, a kind of tough one to get in, in, in the right timing to, to make, uh, uh, you know, uh, winter hogs. Uh, like, uh, for instance, uh, we just had a second place guild ever, ever uh, there at Perry uh, here just a month or so ago, and she was the fourth overall all uh, bread known guilt there in in Georgia uh, at that show which is which has gotten to be really really big but uh, uh, anyway uh, very very good guilt uh, very good mommy uh, I don't really know what more to say other than uh, uh, she would be a, a very similar mating to the two high dollar guilts that we sold or, or good guilts that uh, brought a good amount of money in, at the at the draft this weekend in, in Illinois uh, got very very good homes and, and certainly excited about those uh, once again she would be a big step leaps and and uh, you know I I think, uh, uh, you know, like we've talked many times, sometimes uh, those older boars get a little, and not that he's old. I mean, last year was his first pig crop, but uh, uh, the, the the mark that Big Step left on the Yorkshire industry last year, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, the, the future is very, very bright for this one because this one's big and bold in terms of her forearm and her upper hip. Uh, she's good in terms of her structure, and yet at the same time, she looks like a lady from blade forward. I think that's a very, very nice uh, Yorkshire female. Yeah, not much else to say there. I mean, I think this is just an awfully, awfully good uh, Yorkshire guilt that I'm, I'm very high on. I mean, I think this is one that uh, that, that, that a person could really play with and, and be very successful with this summer. And then later on, I mean, I, th I think breeding value or value as a bread guilt could be very, very high. So think about long term with this one. And she's got a blue eye, which you say makes her a... Yep, if Brady Crone was here or Lindsay Blue, some of those old Yorkshire breeders say those blue-eyed Yorkshires are the breeders every time. You bet. So. Now we'll jump down to uh, not a litter mate. This would be the Hereford Barrow, or excuse me, Hereford Gilt. Um, this would be 21-5. Uh, She'd be a Transformer New Era. And I'm not going to lie. Uh, I absolutely had to twist my niece's arm. Uh, this would be a, a probably hurt her. Uh, yes, absolutely. You can uh, fit your but, arm off uh, your hand all the way uh, around her arm. Her mother uh, would be one that uh, we won the three of the four first virtual shows there last year, and she was reserved the one she didn't win. Uh, that one, uh, and we were videoing her there for the next one, and uh, uh, she hurt something in her upper hip. She kind of went down, and uh, it wasn't good from there. Uh, but we did get her rebounded enough to to get a litter out of her here, uh, and I think this one is is better than what that gill was, and I think. Her mother had big ring written all over. I think uh, that one was uh, primed and ready to go for uh, for Iowa there midsummer, and I think she was going to be a big ring hog and, and was exceptional. And unfortunately, we didn't get to do that. Uh, my niece is about ready to kill me because this is the best daughter. Uh, but uh, well, she can uh, just step up and buy her if she yeah, wants. Yeah, but sometimes you have to uh, uh, you have to pay for their mothers, and she was not <laughs> a cheap one when we invested uh, with the Carre firm there uh, uh, last year to make our maiden voyage into the Hereford. Uh, you know, and, and this may be breed for breed. This may be one of my favorites that we absolutely brought here because I think this one uh, uh, has unique pieces. Uh, uh, for a Hereford in terms of her look up front and, and not the stereotypical uh, Hereford there from blade forward. I think she's uh, got femininity up there. I think she flexes her rear passenger exceptionally well. And, and then still, uh, you know, she balances so well from the side and, and got a tremendous skeleton and yet at the same time pliable about her rib. Looks like a show pig and I think just a very, very uh, high ceiling with this particular female. Yeah, I mean, if you want to play hard in this breed, I mean, there's hardly anybody better to, to get your start with than, than Carey because those guys have had such a tremendous amount of success. Uh, again, if you have seen that uh, that transformer boar down at Laird's, breed for breed, he's as good as any of them down there. And I mean, I, I know they've got as many high quality boars as any stud in the country, but yeah, I'd be remiss to say that, that that Hereford is not one that a person needs to go check out. Regardless, breed for breed, incredible animal. Really excited about uh, offering this Hereford, this Hereford gilt uh, on Friday Hereford, night. Hereford. Hereford gilt. Yes. And uh, I will say another thing about the mother there, and, and you've, you've heard Nathan and I, we'll, we'll talk about females oftentimes here today, uh, the moms of these. And, and this is one that uh, uh, Jason saw her a couple times last year after we bought her, and, and he every time he saw her, he wanted to buy her back. Yep, so yep. Uh, uh, always and, a good and, feeling. Yes, absolutely. And, and I think, uh, at least in my opinion. I think this one's head and shoulders above where her mother was at this time last year. That's a so good pig. Very, yes. very good. Excited about this uh, this guilt right This would be 19 and 20, uh, 10-6 and 21-5. Uh, Yorkshire guilt, Big Step Leaps, Hereford guilt, Transformer, New Era. 